Hello friends. So in this video, we would be looking at what are extended properties in SQL Server. So as usual, the agenda would be understanding extended properties and then a practical demo. Extended properties in very simple terms, they can store the metadata information on the objects, right? And this metadata information can then be used for generating a database dictionary, right? So consider if you have a very large huge database, right? And then it becomes mandatory and very important that you, you know, uh, create a database document or database dictionary, right? Also, uh, from time to time, whenever the new uh, objects are being added, right, uh, they should get updated into a database they uh, document or database dictionary so extended properties you know play a very important role in uh, uh, defining your database uh, document and database uh, dictionary right now this extended properties you know uh, you can uh, actually insert the metadata information uh, almost on each and every object in sql server and these are the their class so for example if you are you know inserting the database sorry metadata information for a database then it would be of class 0 object or column 1 now when we say object then you know it consists of procedures tables views columns triggers and so on parameters to schema 3 database principle uh, 4 assembly 5 and so on right so if you can see the list is very long you can almost actually create this metadata information on each and every object right please watch this video until end because i'm going to show you something very interesting right let us move ahead yeah so as usual uh, let us uh, you know see something in action uh, let me first create uh, the database for you uh, database is created now to maintain this metadata information three basic tsql uh, functions or procedures you know system stored procedures uh, are used uh, they are sp add extended property update extended property and drop extended property so from the name itself you can see that you know this is for adding this is for updating and this is for dropping and there is one uh, function uh, called as an fn list extended property which will actually show you you know what you have entered so it will list the extended property definition or data uh, for the parameters you have passed in and there is one catalog table this is of very very important you know i always use this catalog table uh, called as an extended properties this will actually list out all the extended properties entered into that database okay right so we have already created the you know uh, database here and uh, let me use this database and currently if you can see we don't have any extended properties right now we are you know we are adding first extended property okay so we are adding an extended property the metadata information for the database itself okay and this is the name uh, this can be unique or this can be duplicate because you know it doesn't matter uh, but of course you can have the different uh, names uh, into this but they are of no use because the value part is you know the value part is very important okay so this extended properties ideally uh, you know are uh, uh, entered into the uh, key value pair type of thing right the id and value id and value for each and every uh, level okay so here i am uh, inserting name as ms description and value for this database is test extended properties sample oltp database okay so when i execute this they got inserted uh, and when we see this when we query this table so you can see as i told you the class zero for database right here major id and minor id are nothing because this is for database now what are this major id and minor id i will show you you know when we when we will move ahead and this is the name of this extended property and the value of this extended property okay now let me create one table for you here i am creating one table called purchase order and i am you know uh, creating four columns into that purchase order id purchase order date customer name and quantity okay uh, let me create this table for you and now let us start uh, you know uh, inserting extended property for each level that is for table level and then for the column level right so from here uh, you know our level thing would start now you can see here there was no level only name and value right now this name and value would be common uh, right uh, in you know while entering ev like extended property for any object okay and depending upon the level 
right this label might differ so here we are actually adding an extended property for table so you know we have only two levels the level 0 that is for schema and level 1 for table and as I told you it is like a key value par pair so level 0 type we are specifying schema and level 0 name as what exactly the schema was so here DBO similarly level 1 type is like table and level 1 name is purchase order okay so 0 and 1 so the we are we are having two levels and then name and value so here for table we are specifying this table holds all data related to the purchases okay let me execute this done now we are adding we have we would start adding uh, metadata information for column right column level so now you can see here everything remains the same like name value level 0 level time uh, level 1 because until that we had specified the schema and table and we had added one new level called as a column so level 2 would be column right and then we are specifying what column name so we are specifying purchase order ID right so as in when the hierarchy goes on right level 0 level 1 level 2 you can add you know keep adding these levels right so here I am adding this metadata information for purchase order ID and specifying the values auto incremented primary key column so let me add this similarly for purchase order date let me quickly add this and then I can show you for customer name and then for quantity okay now if you query this extended properties table you can see here exactly what is being uh, added okay for each and every like we added extended properties for four columns one table and one database so for database you can see class was zero and for the objects it was class one this is major ID and this is minor ID so what is this major ID and minor ID so for example so like star from sys dot objects if you can say or if you can query this where object ID is equal to let me input this and select star from sys dot columns where again object ID is equal to same right so this major ID and minor ID is nothing but a type of hierarchy right a parent relation so basically this column you know relates to this table whatever table is defined under this object ID so if I query this sys objects and sys column you can see the same let me query these three tables at a time so that you can understand so you can see here this has been inserted now this is this my major ID is actually the object ID of my table and this one two three four minor ID are, are my column IDs <coughs> right so this way it keep the tracks of you know uh, for what object uh, you know the metadata information has been actually inserted got the point right so whenever the minor id the column information is there you can find this if not then it would be zero okay now let me create one procedure here uh, get purchase order detail very simple procedure and now here you can see again i have removed the level 2 because there is no further level it's only the schema and procedure name okay so i execute this and if I execute this query again then you can see this procedure name is also the metadata information for procedure is also inserted with minor id 0 right so this way you can you know keep inserting uh, or keep creating your metadata information and then you would actually <coughs> you know uh, build up your data document so how how to build up your deck uh, you know how to create your database document so you can see here uh, i have just you know uh, joined the tables extended properties sys objects and sys columns and then i have created this simple query you can modify this query depending upon your requirement uh, uh, and depending on what information you want right so when i execute this so you can see here very you know very uh, very uh, like a very in a in a good way uh, you can see this uh, as a database information these are major id minor id right uh, and you can see here these are my objects uh, so this is you can see the user table and here as these are column i have actually with the help of case statement i have converted it to the column and this is my stored procedure okay so guys this is very very helpful you know uh, basically I would suggest that you know if you are not doing in your you know uh, databases or in your projects please start doing this uh, because 
you you don't have to do you know give any extra effort as then when you create a schema just enter this metadata information and you can create a database document on a fly right uh, and you can keep you know you don't have to worry about you know inserting that into your word file or excel file or powerpoint or any other uh, way of you know documenting just simply select uh, this and you know if you like if you really want to automate this then what you can do is uh, you can actually just have this select statement in one of your you know you can relay uh, actually point your SSRS report to this select statement and you can generate an SSRS reports on this uh, in a way you want and that's it whenever you refresh your SSRS report your do database document is ready right then in the in the starting at I told you, you know there is a function called list extended property so if you pass the, the you know parameter required so here I'm passing schema uh, then you know schema as DBO table as employee and column as or default so default means it will actually list all the columns okay sorry not an employee here we want purchase order okay okay see so here we are just specifying schema dbo table purchase order and uh, everything right if you remove uh, like uh, column information and you pass default then you know it will actually list uh, everything for purchase order so maybe uh, you know uh, the procedures and everything and if you uh, pass everything null 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 then each and every uh, you know extended property would be listed right then coming back uh, coming to like how to update this uh, property okay so uh, here uh, just I will have to change something okay uh, let me change the customer name here okay so I'm specifying purchase order and here as customer name so again same thing customer name customer name should be unique for example right so currently <clears throat> if you can see sorry uh, for customer name uh, what we have here that we are just specifying customer name right now I am updating this property customer name should be unique again I am just specifying the labels schema uh, the table name and the column name okay when I execute this done and if you uh, if you again query this then you can see customer name should be unique right got the point so this way you can whenever you know if uh, if you have done if you have entered the uh, metadata information uh, uh, not properly then you can actually update and in some cases if you don't want that right then you can remove as well so here again what I'm doing I'm remo removing the customer name metadata information okay so currently it is showing customer name should be unique and with the help of this SP drop extended property systems system stored procedure again I am passing the schema table name and uh, column name and when I execute this and when you query this you can see the customer name has been removed <coughs> right so this is very very simple guys and you know Microsoft has done a very good work on this uh, of course this is very basic most of you might have been you know uh, actually using this but those who those of you who are not using this I would suggest please start using this right and believe me uh, like you know over a period of time you will have a very good database document in place and second advantage is that you know if you keep adding this uh, scheme you know metadata information for schema as in when you actually create a schema uh, on the fly you can generate a database document right now this was only for the sample let me show you even adventures work you know use this uh, the sample document adventure works uh, sample database sorry adventure works 2019 they have also used this very extensively so let me go back to adventure works 2019 and let me uh, execute this say again you can see here very simple query right joining only three uh, catalog tables and that's it you can see the whole database document you know like 1222 rows are generated and you can see uh, like it has been documented for check constraint uh, then default constraint you know everything has been uh, documented uh, the foreign key constraint and the primary key column scalar functions stored procedures each and every now this is a column now here you can see even for triggers right what the triggers are and everything 
then for the system tables okay and here from here the table and column combination starts so for example employee history table uh, you can see here uh, instead of column name this is a uh, okay sorry this is an employee user table and then this is a business entity id column okay this way okay this was for clustered index hence it has came on the top so if from here the column uh, table information starts right and for each column uh, they have uh, you know created a good metadata information uh, giving a lot of information about the columns and tables and everything right so uh, this was related to extended properties i use very extensively uh, right uh, uh, whenever it is needed and uh, i hope you will also use this so hope you have enjoyed this uh, session and i would uh, you know again suggest you to use this uh, right guys uh, let me know if you come across any issues uh, we would surely resolve that and uh, yeah that's it for today and as usual uh, don't forget to press a like button don't forget to you know subscribe my channel if you have already not done that uh, and please don't forget to you know share this videos with your friends and colleagues so that they can also benefit from this right guys so thanks for watching this video uh, meet you next time with next uh, good topic till then bye take care